Hello everyone, welcome back to Simply Makeup. My name is V. In today's video, it is just a short, quick, simple video because 6 25 2022 is exactly one year since my mom passed. And it's her one year anniversary, and I just wanted to write her a little love letter. I know she's not there i just want to write a little love letter to my mom on her first year anniversary since she has passed i'm wearing her favorite color she loves pink so i put pink on and her cultural attire that she would love to do during isidore so i did that and the love letter goes like this i just sat there and i wrote it so hopefully everything flows together it says, a love letter to my mom, Zezel, who is no longer with me. Mom, first thing I want to express is how happy I am to have known you and love you. I know you are no longer with me on this place I call Earth, but your memories will forever be with me. I remember the phone call on 6-25-2021 when you took your last breath. It was 11.15 a.m. in the morning. It was sad. My heart was broken. I felt the little pieces of me just melting. But at the same time, I knew your pain was over. I will always remember you and the memories we shared together for as long as I live. I am very happy that we had three months, thank God for three months, to say our goodbyes. You know what was going on until the end. You knew what was going on all the way to the end. I remember. One day I came there, you were not feeling too good. You wasn't talking to anyone or anything. I remember taking your hands and hold, clasp it in my hand and talking to you. And I told you, Mom, if you think that there is anything you're holding on to that you're not happy about or you think you did wrong, please ask for forgiveness. And if you think there is anything that you have done wrong to me or my brothers and my sisters, I want you to know that you are forgiven. We forgave you and that is all that is important. You did the best with what you had. She did not say anything. She had take my, she, since my hands were in her hands like this, she clasped my hand and then the tears came rolling down her eyes. That let me know she did ask for forgiveness and she knew what I was saying was true. She did the best she could, that's it. So I wanted her to know that. That day she didn't talk, she didn't laugh, she didn't say anything. She just clasped my hand, she just pressed my hand and she let, and that was I guess the sign to let me know, yep, I understand. I have asked for forgiveness and she knows that she was forgiven. Many times after that, when I came to see you, you would smile and we would talk. I remember one occasion I came to visit you and I was looking at you very close in your face with my glasses on and I was looking at her like this and she looked so confused. I remember you looking so confused, mom. And you kept looking and I said, what is it? Are you confused because I look like you, so much like you? And she looked at me and she said, yes. And she started smiling. <laughs> She's like, yes, you look a lot like me. As the years go by, before my mom passed, I realized I was looking more and more like I was mimicking her. So when that happened, I wasn't surprised. She thought it was her she was looking at. And she smiled. Mother, 
I also want you to know I wrote the first book and dedicated it to you. I know you're proud of me because you were always proud of whatever I did. I will never forget you because you are part of me. It is now one year since you passed and lots have happened, lots have changed, and lots still stays and lots still stays the same in the world. But I keep moving on and living life the best way I know how. Because I know life is very short and it can end at any minute. So I try to help as many people along the way with love, encouragements, uplifting words, uplifting messages, laughter, joy, and just being me as always. I remember you used to tell me, you're always laughing. You laugh all the time. You just have a ball just laughing. Some days I would laugh until tears come down my eyes. My mom would say, what are you laughing at? I would tell her, well, I make jokes and I'm just having a ball. So, I still do that. <laughs> Today is 6-25-2022. And I am lighting two white candles for you. I picked them up a while back. Two white candles. I'm lighting those for you. Because when you were up and about living life, doing everything that you did when you were able to walk, whenever I would call you, wherever you were, if you were in Dominica, St. Thomas of Florida, you would always say, I light a candle for you today in church. So today, I... I'm lighting two candles, one for you, one for me. Wherever you are, I know for sure you are in my angel community. I love you. I loved you when you were my mother. I love the memories that I still have about you love you always and I will keep doing whatever I do in this lifetime to live the best life possible your candle my candle your candle my candle much love wherever you are in this universe wherever you are mother I light a candle for you today, and I light one for me. One for you, one for me. And this is all I want to share with anybody. Remember, if you have any situations where you can make it right, make it right. Whatever situation, I know some situations, some people say it can never be right again. But whatever it is, if you can make it right, go ahead and make it right. Because life is short, and forgive yourself if you cannot make it right. Forgive yourself and keep living life to the best way you know and live a positive life. So when you're no longer here, people remember the positiveness about you. A little bit of kindness is always important because you just never know what the other person is going through. Always remember, self is first. Love self plenty, take care of self. And I, Simply Makeup, will see you in another video. Peace, love, joy to all. Bye, bye, bye.